नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदधा भगवद्गीते भगवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवत गीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एन लाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडिस शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डियालिज्म कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माय एफेक्शनेट मदर आई मेडिटेट अपॉन यू कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन टू यू श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता एंड द ninth adhyay of uh, raj vidya raj guhya yog and uh, we are back again after a short gap and uh, today we will be reading the 19th shloka of this a ninth adhyay the raj vidya raj guhya yog the sovereign knowledge sovereign science and the sovereign secret that is what uh, shri krishna is uh, explaining to us he is uh, opening up all the secret about shri krishna's true nature his nature his identity he is revealing everything to us in this rajavidya rajagoya yog the last uh, shlok that we read the 18th shlok shri krishna told us that गतिर्भर्ता प्रभु साक्षी निवास शरण सुरु प्रभव प्रलय स्थान निधान बीजम्यय श्री कृष्ण अगेन टोल्ड अस अबाउट हिज ट्रू नेचर टू अंडरस्टैंड श्री कृष्ण ही इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस एवरीथिंग टू अस जस्ट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल द डिवोटीज फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ ऑल द लिस्नर्स टेकिंग द एडवांटेज ऑफ गिविंग दिस एडवाइस टू अर्जुन Shri Krishna is revealing this ultimate secret, this ultimate truth, this ultimate science, the Raj Vidya and Raj Guhya. He is sharing it with one and all. And Shri Krishna says in the 18th shlok, Gati hi bharta prabhu sakshi. Gati, Gati is the ultimate goal towards which this entire creation is moving forward. That Gati. that ultimate goal is me sri krishna is saying i am that ultimate goal bharta and i am also the supporter of this entire creation this creation has come out of my consent sri krishna says prakriti has brought forward this creation with my consent with my looking at prakriti go ahead start the creation prakriti has brought out this whole creation which will again come back to me that's what shri krishna says and till the time that creation come back comes back to me it is me who is supporting that creation i am providing everything for the sustenance for the maintenance for the support of this creation i am the bharta i am the prabhu she says i am the ultimate lord nothing beyond me now i am the ultimate lord i am the prabhu and at the same time everything that is happening around i am the sakshi shri krishna says i am not involved in any of these i am just witnessing see how smart uh, uh, this lord krishna is he is getting everything done but he himself is not part of anything he is just a witness he says i am just the sakshi i don't get uh, involved in all this is happening around although it is happening with my will 
whatever is happening in this universe is happening with the will of the Lord. But Lord is not involved in it. Lord says he is only the witness. He is the Sakshi. Then Nivasaha Sharanam Surut. Nivasa is ultimate abode. This entire uh, creation that uh, is, uh, uh, you know, happening, it is uh, uh, residing in that Nivasa, that abode is the Lord. And Sharanam, the Lord is the ultimate shelter, is the ultimate refuge for this entire creation. And also Lord says, I am Srut. I am the Closest of the friend, I am the dearest of the friend, Surut, of all the beings, not just you, Arjuna. I am Surut of this entire creation. Anyone who wants to be friends with me, I am all open for that. So, that is how Sri Krishna is now explaining about his true nature. Now, Sri Krishna says, Prabhava. Pralayaha sthanam nidhanam bijam avyayam. Prabhava is I am the origin. From me create uh, this entire universe, this entire creation gets created. I am the Prabhava, I am the origin. From me everything comes into effect. I am also the pralaya. I am also the destruction of what happens when Sri Krishna told us at the end of the Kalpa Brahma, at the end of the day of the Brahma, at the, as the night progresses, when everything gets back into the, the real nature of the Lord. At the day, uh, Brahma's day, everything comes forth and at Brahma's night, everything just gets drawn back into the Lord, get, gets destroyed, gets dissolved, gets perished. All that creation that has come forth, it again goes back. And Sri Krishna says, I am the origin as well as I am the destruction, the Prabhava as well as the Pralayaha and also the Sthanam. I am also the foundation of this. This is where he has said, I am the Nivasa. That is where the, the entire creation is residing somewhere, isn't it? There is a place for this entire creation in this game of the Lord, in this play of the Lord. So that sthana is the Lord himself. And nidhanam, Sri Krishna says, I am the treasure house. Nidhanam is, I am, where, I, I am the place where all these, uh, uh, you know, riches of the world, of the universe, of the creation. I am the ultimate treasure house. Whatever you want in this world is all here within me. You look for that gem, you look for that diamond, you look for that glittering, uh, sparkling, uh, precious stones. Everything is here within me. So, I am the Nidhanam. And then Sri Krishna says at the end of that 18th shloka, I am Bijam Avyayam. I am, I, am, I am that seed. I am that imperishable seed. Avyayam. The seed which is not going to perish at all. I am that seed from which this entire creation comes forth. I am again the one in which the entire creation is drawn back and gets into that seed in the dormant condition till the next creation, till the next sprouting of this creation. She says, uh, Krishna says, I am that seed Im imperishable. So what more you want to know about Krishna? Krishna has told us everything that one needs to know about him. But Krishna is not satisfied with all this huge description that he has told about himself. Krishna further tells us, in case we have any doubts, then Krishna says, Peter, don't have any doubt. Know to me further. I am here to tell you. And in this 19th slope, Sri Krishna says, what, what other qualities, what other things that Krishna has? Tapamyahamaham varsham nigrunham yatsrujamicha amritam chaivamrutyushcha sat asat chaham arjuna. Now Sri Krishna says, he has told us about all these, uh, uh, you know, external things about uh, the, the creation of uh, the riches and the, uh, 
the, the support of this creation. This is where the creation comes forth and or gets drawn back. Hmm? And now Sri Krishna says, whatever all these seasons you are saying, this heat that you are saying, the tapami aham, I am the giver of the heat. Now, as the summer is approaching, well, we are all so much troubled by that uh, heat and the heat wave. Shri Krishna says, Tapami Aham, I am the heat. I am the giver of that heat. And also, once the summer is over, then it's going to be the monsoon. Then, Aham Varsham. Even the Varsham, the rain, I am. Now, what is Shri Krishna's role in uh, bringing out the rains? Shri Krishna says, Nigrunhami Utsurjami Cham. Varsham. Varsham, that is the rain. Nigrunami. I am the withholder of this rain. We don't get rains out of season normally, isn't it? It is at the will of Krishna. He holds the rains back from coming down to the earth. When it is hot summer, we don't get rains. So that is the time Sri Krishna says, I am holding that rains back into me. Nigrunami. And again, and again, I am the giver of this rain. From me, the rain comes forth. Utsrujami, Utsrujami is sending forth. I send forth the rain. I withhold the rain. I send forth the rain. I am the giver of this heat. I am the withholder of the rain. And I am also sending forth the rain for the benefit of this universe for the benefit of this creation. Amrutam Chaiva Mrutyushcha Amrutam Immortality I am the immortality and again Mrutyushcha and again I am the death. Both I am. I am the immortality as well as I am the death. Sat Asat Cha Aham Arjuna O Arjuna I am the reality and I am the non-reality. I am the Sat. I am the Asat. And what is the Sat? Only the Brahman is the Sat. As per the Advaitic thought. Only the Brahman is Sat and rest all is Mithya for that matter. Brahma Satya Jagat Mithya. That is what the Advaitists uh, declare this creation to be. Only Brahman is Sat. Now Sri Krishna says pertaining to that, I am that Sat, I am the only reality. And again, I am that unreal thing, I am that delusion, I am that non-being. Whatever you say, the, the, the uh, life force or even the dead matter, I am the real thing, I am also the unreal thing. I am the truth, I am also that which is not truth. So Sat and Asat. I am the real. I am also the unreal. So Sri Krishna has explained again about his nature. That he is the giver of the heat. He, he is the giver of this climate for that matter. He is the withholder of the rain. And also he is, he is the one who sends forth rain for the benefit of mankind. For the benefit of this entire creation. And then Sri Krishna says. I am the immortality as well as I am death. The Lord per se, there is no birth, there is no death for the Lord. So, Lord is immortal, Lord is avyaya, Lord is akshaya. Lord is ever present. That is the true nature of the Lord, the immortality. And again, in the form of creation, where things come into being and things go back into the non-being. They, they get the life and the life ceases to exist. So there also Lord says that I am in the death also I am there. I am, immort in, I am there in immortality but again I am there in the death also. And then I am the reality. I am also the all the things which are unreal. All this temporary phase of this creation. I am in that as well as I am in the only reality which is the ultimate Satchitananda. 
that I am the true reality and I am also in the Asat. As the immanent reality, working of Ishwara in and through the cosmos has its own glory. As the sun, the Lord gives heat and as sun rays, he is the cause of rains commencing and ceasing. It is all his miracle, it is all his play. When to rain, when not to rain, when to withhold the rains and when to give those pleasant showers. Based on the fruits of karma, the Lord is the seeming immortality. And again, Lord also is the death of the beings. It depends upon one's karma. If we have gone ahead on this path of spirituality, on this path of illumination, of the path of enlightenment to such an extent that we reach a stage of immortality. We realize our oneness with the Lord. We become immortal for that matter. That again is the Lord. But till the time we are not reaching that ultimate goal, that ultimate gati that Sri Krishna has told in the 18th slok at the start of the 18th slok. Till we don't reach that ultimate goal. We have to again and again come and go, come and go, come and go. We have to take birth, we have to die, we have to take birth. And Sri Krishna says, in this death also I am there. Those great souls who have reached the point of no return, that immortality is also I am. But for the ordinary beings like us who have to, you know, get uh, trapped into this cycle of birth and death. Again and again we have to take birth, we have to die, again we have to take birth, again we have to die. So in that death also Sri Krishna says, I am part of it. Both of these transitory states are helpful to train the Jivatman and make him fit for the enlightenment. This understanding that Krishna is there in the death also and he is there in immortality. This makes this Jivatman learn the process and ultimately succeed on this path of enlightenment. In his manifested state, the Lord is the being of the cosmos and his unmanifested state, he is also the non-being. So he is Sat as well as he is Asat. The non-being should be construed as nihility, nothing. The asat, asat actually is if uh, uh, it has no uh, reality as such. It is nothingness. So there are only two things the Lord says. It is either sat or asat. And Sri Krishna says, I am sat as well as asat. I am the real as well as all these ephemeral things that you are seeing around, even that I am. So this is what Sri Krishna taught us in the 19th shloka of the Raja Vidya, Raja Guhya Yoga, the 9th Adhyay and some further uh, uh, elaboration of the nature of the ultimate Lord. So that was our 19th shloka of the Raja Vidya, Raja Guhya Yoga, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sri Krishna Arpanamastu, Jai Sri Ramakrishna, Jai Thakur Jai Ma, Jai Swamiji.